What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Volt Inu and whether or not I believe it can reach a $1 billion market cap. Now, with that being said, guys, I always like to start my videos by saying I'm not a financial advisor. I'm going to be giving my personal opinions in this video, and I highly recommend you guys to do your own research. All of this information presented is for educational pur purposes only and is strictly my opinion. But a quick look at Volt Inu. It's currently trading around a $50 million market cap with an all-time high around a $250 million market cap. Now, it's been holding nicely here in this $50 million range. And a few things to mention. They've been gaining holders uh, tremendously. They're almost at 50,000 holders and they just got listed on their 25th exchange. So during this bear market, they've been holding pretty nicely at a $50 million market cap and uh, have been building have been building tremendously. So keep all of those in mind, the $250 million market cap. So they've already reached a quarter of the way to a billion dollar market cap. But right now, as things sit, there are 20X away, a 20X away from a $1 billion market cap. Now, a few things to mention here. As I just said, they were just listed on their 25th centralized exchange. This is going to be going live on CoinW Exchange, who has 87,000 followers on Twitter. 25 centralized exchanges in less than six months. Very, very impressive. But if you've been following what Voltoshi, the main developer of Volt Inu, has been saying, he's been saying there's going to be 30 centralized exchanges before summertime. And I guess it's summertime, right? Doesn't summer start in June? So it should, or during summertime, excuse me, not before. So we should be seeing at least five more exchanges. And I would guess there will be some big ones coming in there. So impressive here to see 25 centralized exchanges. The only other token that's ever done that is ApeCoin, 25 exchanges in six months. Now, we've also seen some major partnerships. Gilbert Durinho Burns recently signed with Volt. Now, what does this mean for Volt? Well, this is just good exposure. As you guys know, Gilbert Burns has over a million followers combined throughout all of his different platforms, 200,000 here on Twitter. I think he has 600,000 or more on Instagram. And he's been posting about Volt, tweeting about Volt, posting on his Instagram about Volt. Does that mean that it's going to convert right away? No, but it is great brand exposure. If you guys follow the UFC, you understand that Gilbert Burns is probably going to have one of the biggest fights of the year in 2022. Uh, he's going to have the power of the Volt army behind him. And if you didn't listen to him on the Jake Egan show, when he came on last week. He said he's going to he's going to host a Volt Inu after party and the entire Volt army uh, is invited. So it's a great honor to have Gilbert Burns as a part of the Volt army and a big, big, big partnership here. And we can expect more to come. Now, the biggest thing that I think that we need to see here for Volt Inu to reach a $1 billion market cap right here is the new utilities. The dev team tweeted this out earlier this morning. We've been working on new utilities, which I think is very important. New centralized exchanges, tier one partnerships, sponsorships, and marketing, but barely anything has been released yet. Probably nothing. Like I mentioned, the new utilities is the biggest. Obviously, we've seen it there uh, on the roadmap. They have NFTs coming up. They also have their Volt Swap uh, coming out that they're working on. New utilities will allow more people to have uh, faith in this project. Because a lot of people are like, hey, what's the utility? A play to earn game? You know, some NFTs? They're not really buying it. Um, I think people in the Volt Army are. Uh, but it's all about development, right? This token's six months old, right? You have to kind of develop and grow as you go. But new utilities are coming. I'm excited to see what these are. Maybe it's uh, their own blockchain. Maybe it's a swap. I don't know. We understand the Volt swap's coming, but I'm excited to see what the new utilities are. And I think that's going to add a little... Uh, extra safety, you know, you know, a, a little bit of a exposure for people that are getting in as these new utilities drop. Now, another thing that's so important, guys, for Volt to reach a $1 billion market cap, the most important, is what the market's doing. You know, we're in the green today, guys. Bitcoin back above $32,000, ETH almost at $2,000. Uh, it's been a rough week or, or two weeks here for the crypto market. But I truly do believe if Volt Inu wants to reach a $1 billion market cap, it all comes down to what these big dogs are doing. Most of these meme coins, altcoins move with the market. So if Bitcoin goes back up to 40 k uh, ETH back up to 3 k or higher, we can expect to see a lot of the meme coins and altcoins going with it. So I do believe a $1 billion market cap is possible for Volt. Obviously, a lot of it depends on uh, the price and the market overall. A lot of it depends on the new uh, utilities that are coming out, some major exchange listings, right? Some tier one exchange listings would be huge, some bigger partnerships, some massive partnerships, and the power of the Volt Army, uh, who is very strong and obviously holding the line during these bearish days. I don't think I saw Volt really drop below a $50 million market cap. It kind of hovered around that range, uh, while a lot of other altcoins were tanking. 
tanking. Volt Inu held that $50 market cap. So it's a project that I'm bullish on. In my personal opinion, guys, I do think that we will see a $1 billion market cap for Volt Inu here in 2022. A lot of factors go into it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. What do you think? Do you think that we're going to see a $1 billion Volt Inu uh, market cap here in 2022? Do you think it's going to be higher or do you think it's going to be lower? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, guys, this is my personal opinion. Please do your own research when investing. None of this information presented here is financial advice. Hope you all have a great week and we will see you tonight at 5 p.m. on The Jake Hagan Show. Thanks so much, everybody.